हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू आर डिस्ट्रिक्ट शिफाई फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन मॉड्यूल वाइज ट्रेनिंग सीरीज सो इन आवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी टॉक अबाउट द लाइन डिस्काउंट ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट सो नाउ इन दिस न्यू एपिसोड वी एक्सप्लोर द मल्टी लाइन डिस्काउंट ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट इन लाइन डिस्काउंट डिस्काउंट इज टैग टू द एवरी सिंगल लाइन ऑन ऑन द अदर हैंड फॉर द मल्टीपल लाइन डिस्काउंट इट्स टैग टू द मल्टीपल लाइन इन द परचेस ऑर्डर सो वी विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट दिस प्रोसेस इन दिस वीडियो फॉर योर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप we create a trade agreement journal names for the multi line discount so in order to create multi line discount journal names we go to procurement sourcing collapse all this tab insert setup price and discount we select the trade agreement journal names here we create a new trade agreement journal name for multi line discount so get a multi discounts is a multi line discount save this parameter again go back to the procurement sourcing and make sure you enable the active price discount for the multi line discounts so we'll go here enable this all toggles click on the save so after enabling this we again go to price and discounts here we have the option of price and discount groups here we select the item discount groups so for the multi line discount it's mandatory to have the group for the multi line discount so this one is a line discount group so let's create a multi line discounts here we already have the low margin item medium margin item and the high margin item group so we will not create a new group for your case you can create multi line groups as per your requirement so we'll use this same one so after creating this group we need to assign this group for the item so again we go to the product information management inside product information management we select the release product select the item for which you want to enable the multi line discount so here in the product inside the purchase type you need to select the multi line discount group so let's select the multi line discount for the low margin item save this group so let's create the multi line discount trade agreement so we click on the purchase create trade agreements here we click on the new and select the multi line discount so description and the relation is auto populated we'll select it to the multi line discount here click on the lines here for the vendor relation you can set the all or you can set the table all for the all vendors and table you can specify the for the specific vendor so we will select our vendor pvs for the item you will find the difference between the line discount and multi line discounts in the line discount trade agreement system allow you to select the single product but for the multi line discount system doesn't allow you to select the single line so it's mandatory to you have to select the all or either group so here we select the group option and in the item relation group we'll select the low margin group because we have assigned this group for our item so we just save this and set the discount percentage to that 5 here we replicate the same scenario as a line discount so you will better understand the difference between the line discount and multi line discount so let's copy this line for first i have set the quantity from 1 to 101 and for the second line a quantity 101 to 201 and set the percentage as a 10 you can copy this line and the third line we set to 201 to 501 and for the third we set the discount percentage to the 15 now validate the all lines and post this journal so now our journal is posted let's create a purchase order to know how our multi line discount will work so we again go to procurement and sourcing purchase order all purchase order so let's create new purchase order select a vendor here we select the vendor for which we have create a multi line discount so we'll select the pvs limited vendor and in the journal warehouse we select anything because in the trade agreement journal we have not selected any warehouse so we can use any click on okay. Okay. So in the purchase order, let's add the item for which we have created a multi-line discount. So we'll select the item. Click on the save. Here you can see that in the discounts column, multi-line discount is not auto-populated. So this is the major difference between the line discount and multi-line discounts. So in the line discount, the discount will be auto-populated when you add the item in the purchase order line. But for the multi-line discounts, 
it's not auto populated in the purchase you have button called calculated inside calculated you have option of multi line discounts when you click on that multi line discount your discounts will be populated so let's click on the multi line discount now you can see here even we click on the multi line discount our discount is not populated so we need to make a changes in one setup in the procurement and sourcing parameter so let's again go to procurement sourcing parameter click on procurement sourcing setup procurement sourcing parameter so inside prices you have option of line plus multi line so here you need to make sure that you have selected the line and multi line discount here if it's set to the line then system will only show that line discount in the purchase order so we need to make sure you select the line plus multi line so once you change this line plus multi line just save this button and again click on the multi line discount so here now you can see that our 5% of multi line discounts is applicable for the item now you might wondering that this is almost similar to the line discount right so what is the exact difference between the line discount and the multi line discount so for this let's compare the line discount and multi line discounts let's remove this item on add line and add the items for which we have used the line discount agreement so just we add the 100 and just change this quantity to the 60 let's again add the same item and make the quantity to 70 now you can see that in our line discount trade agreement our total quantity for the same item one is 60 and one is a 70 so that so the total quantity of this item in the trade agreement is a 130 but in the discount column you can see that it's apply only the 5% discount for the both as per the trade agreement of the line discount so let's add the item for the multi line discount here we add the same quantity 60 click on the multi line discount so now you can see in the discount column our multi line discount calculate the discount based on the multiple lines the system will calculate multi line discount from the line 3 and line 4 it's calculated to 130 so it will apply the discount for the 10 percent but for the line discount it will consider only the one line for the discount so it's apply only 5% discount so that's the major difference between the multi line and line discount trade agreement i hope you understand the difference between the multi line and line discount trade agreement so that's it for this video in our next video we will talk about the total discount in directive finance and operation